Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 83. Getting towards the end of September. Tomorrow will be the end of it. End of October, it's turn the fall. Nice, pretty blue skies here, but nice and chilly, so it's comfortable. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to be here with us right here, right now. So let's get into it. Agenda. We're going to do triage. We'll do questions, comments. Uh, looks like we just got John and Jacob, so I'm not expecting we'll get tons of questions, but that's all right, because we have plenty of triage to make up for it. Right, Bob? Right. Yeah, right. Lots of fun stuff coming in. It's all right. I th hopefully, most of it's Wix 4, except for the parts that are not. <laughs> triage. You ready, Bob? I am ready. All right, I'm going to refresh one more time. All right, cool. Issues, 15. Cool. Burn will use incorrect package if local. This is an old bug. I thought this was yeah. already open. He's added a comment. But it was open already. Two aspects of this bug. Given the BA a chance to resolve sort, yeah. verify no, that the panel yeah, is two comments. This is still open. Yes, it should get fixed. So, yeah. All right, we can open that bug. Yeah, yeah, mouse cursor. It's kind of nice. Cool. I'm so you jinxed it. Wow. Just reopen it. All right. Now it's still hanging out. All right. Unable to execute transform... 2015. What is this? So while not a mux bug, where would I set XML transforms use trusted settings to true in a typical Wix project? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's work. I mean, this, this this isn't a Wix bug. It's not even a Wix task. Yeah, so I don't know. So, yeah, let's go re-resolve this. Now. They can go take this to the mailing list if they want. Go have a discussion about it. Um, run once triggered. So we still have the log files. Bob still has yes. the bug. And my, my promise to research it before yeah. uh, today's meeting was thrown into disarray by the uh, um, other problems I was looking at this weekend. So one more week since it's signed to yes. you, I'll let it flow for one. Did we talk about 3640? Yes, we talked about it. It's an open bug. It needs to be fixed. We didn't talk about how to fix it. If someone wants to fix it, they can talk about that. You shut up. All right. Yes, he asked about 3640, and I was like, yes, we already opened it. Okay, need more data diagnose. This was last week. I vote keeping this open for one more week. See if it comes uh, okay. back. Two weeks, just in case they're gone or something. Sure. MSI built with Wix 3.10. Yes, this was the scary bug that we started seeing all kinds of places. And yeah, 14 yeah. has a change that breaks XP compatibility. That's awesome. So, yeah. We should probably take this fix. I didn't add yeah. an agenda item for talking about a Wix 3.10 rebuild. Yeah. Well, we can talk about it here, or we can talk about it next. Spontaneous agenda item for me. Yes. Jacob, There's a. Uh, I have a fix. I have not yet sent a uh, pull request. I wanted to talk about this bug before I did that. Um, the connect item, probably if you can open that, uh, describes the problem the cause, and an undocumented, unfortunately, uh, compiler setting that you can pass in. It's documented now. Uh, yeah. Right there, it's documented. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, this was not fun. This was not fun. Uh, like, actually, the connect report was open, like, or, sorry, the connect report with the workaround was provided like the day before I was uh, <laughs> doing this. So that was very good timing. On that front, that was good timing. Unfortunately, I ended up at the same point as the person who opened the connect issue, which is looking at the disassembly window going, oh, what? So, yeah, this is this is a problem with the code you know, from the CRT. doesn't work on XP in 2003. So um, I think we should take this. I, th I agree. Think we should probably do a three ten one. Yeah. So I don't think we yeah. should have three eleven try to B 
be it. No, it, it, it just short really release is. for 3.11. Ruined the 3.10 uh, release for XP users. Not everything. And of course, this was the problem. You know, we don't have brand regression, automated regression testing. Certainly on XP. Multiple, especially on XP. But we do have, uh, uh, you know, I, I ran through, you know, a burn bundle and, you know, it, it works. So, you know, there was no major problem building you have to for hit XP. one of our tests that uses the static, local static, so yeah. Yeah, the problem is this affected only functions with static locals and we have a couple of those, and so everything else works, but not those. Um, All right. But yes, I, let's let's uh, talk about three three ten one uh, a little bit. All right. You know, after triage, because yeah. we have to decide if there's anything else going in. Yes. Wix Tambay does not compensate for borders and or total size main window. Yes, we should totally fix this. Not in three ten, no. Agreed. Um, I don't know if we fix it in 3x or 4x, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really surprised that no one's complained about the rather poor support we have in, in Wix standard BA and Themutal for high DPI. Yeah, because this is certainly a bug. Them. I know. I want to go buy a high DPI monitor just so I can complain about it. Uh, I do um, too. I just haven't done it. I, I yeah, I agree with Jacob. We should definitely do this in 4x. Um, the problem is Themutal has already undergone significant work, so I don't see this as. Let's fixed. put it in four. I agree. We'll it hasn't been fixed in three since a long time. Let's put it in four. We should totally fix this. Um, yep. And let's put it in four. I'm gonna, I'm hopeful we should get it in there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, impossible to add background image when through theme file when using with standard BA. Hmm. Try a background image to the installer window using a theme. I change the theme. This sounds like a good support question first. Now their image is commented out. Tenth one. I assume they commented in. Oh, I see. They in here. Oh, this caused all text elements to be obscured by the image. All right, when I place the image as the first child in the page, this is the background of the first page, but no images showed on the second page. Well, that makes sense because an image is part of a page that gets hidden on all pages. You have to add it to all pages. Then I add another image element as the first child of the progress element, but then this obscured by the text on the first page is displayed correctly on the progress page. Okay. So it sounds like putting an image in the background is sketchy, has different issues maybe. I thought I did this a long time ago, but maybe I've never tried uh, putting it on top of text. Mm, okay. So, anyway. Um, how about we put it in four along with all the other fixes to theme, you know? That works. Okay. Good feature. I certificate error. Please tell me this is the same as the other 310 on XP bug. Uh, I have not... Uh, tried this explicit thing just because I wasn't a crash. sure what was involved, but right. it's a crash. So um, I f I'm pr uh, pretty sure, and now I'm less sure, um, that I tracked it down to another static local in, in cert util. Yeah. So I'm, I'm comfortable saying this is part of the same. All right, so let's add that to your list of bugs that we will talk about. Package the util app is netgit. Yes, we should do this. This open in four. Talked about that before. X monitor returns as false, not e found. Right, and this is the thing that Jacob said he would open. Yay, and we should take this in four, not three, right? Well, that's the discussion. I don't think we should uh, break the util in three. Sorry, no. Um, 
but we do need a change, a fix for three. Uh, this is the other issue, right? The related issue is the one you're talking about. Oh, that is open. But that's also open at four. Right. So this is a good one to have in three. So this is the one we could take back to three. We should definitely fix it in four, and we could take it back to three. Because it's a small, like, one-line fix or something. Mm. Ish, yeah. Right. M multiple one-line fixes. Fine, multiple one-line fixes. So, like zero monogamy. Uh, okay. So let's, let's... So this, we should... this. S returns S false, not E found, definitely four, because that's breaking. And this we should do in four. So Jacob, do you have a fix for this four eight nine nine against three? Against three X three decks. 310 plus, 311, whatever you want to call it. The new bug. This new bug is about changing S false to E not found. That is a very, very large change. Okay, cool. This definitely should go to 4. X returns S false. That's what it says. XML attribute returns S false, not E not found. This doesn't say anything about the Wix standard VA processing the code incorrectly. Although, to be fair, neither does this, but this actually talks about all the Wix standard VA code that's processing it wrong. Okay, then can we fix the title on this, Jacob? So it talks about fixing with standard BA because it doesn't. Like, let's just fix the title on this issue and open it against three, ten, eleven. I don't know, ten, ten, eleven. Right, Jacob, you're saying for forty nine ten, this is just a change in with standard BA, right? In the engine two. Well, we have places in the engine that was handling this incorrectly. Ooh, that's kind of bad. All right, cool. Well, then yeah. Okay, fine. So, okay. All right, so this apparently, let's fix the title of this. Oh, this is, this title's not helpful at all. <laughs> Unless it meant the whole change. Yeah, this title's not the title we want. Okay. So let's title this the fixing with standard. But the problem is that this bug is the one that talks about the actual lines of code that needs to get fixed. I didn't notice what time it was open. Oh, that's. I, I don't know. Is that UTC or is that my time? That is late. It's UTC. Okay. That's 11. My time. I don't know. What it is. All right. So I'm so confused now. I don't care. Which way do we want to do this? If we put this in four, we'll call this one change all as false to. No, that's just too confusing. This has all the stuff about Wix standard BA. Let's make this the Wix standard BA bug, and it can be fixed in three. Because there's too much content in here to move it. This bug is easy to change to make X attribute not return as false, but we can only do that in four. Okay. Sorry, Jacob. I'm going to make you fix your history dot text entry, but it's going to be really confusing if we try to do this the other way around because there's too much text in this bug that is about that particular issue. Yeah. Cool? Yeah, cool. All right, let's 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 do that. 
This goes against four. The other related issue goes against three. Now, there was a mention of that this bug being so small and so bad that we missed it since we felt bad about it when we got it, and it breaks 3.10 backwards compatibility. Do we want to take it in 3.10.1? I think we probably should seriously consider it. All right. So Jacob, Bob are all for it. It's trivial. I agree. All right. So let's look. Let's get that pull request up. Let's look at it. And if it looks good, then we'll get all our pull requests aligned for three ten one. Cool. Let's do that. Everybody seems to be generally agreeing that that sounds like a good idea. Torch has an error when trying to load Wix PDBs in 4. Cool, we should fix that in 4. Because I don't know. Yeah, it's probably just not loading the PDBs correctly. Cannot bind transforms without files. Um, all right, cool. Another 4 bug. Open that. Burn should update ARP entries and publisher during modify. Yeah. So, oh, Bob, you opened it. Yes. I'm generally um, okay with that. I have, um, <laughs> I have to edit. I have to edit the bug. Um, Wix bundle manufacturer isn't writable. It's not writable. It's no. Not. I guess not. That. Uh, yeah. I. I think right. Yeah, probably doesn't just, they, need to change. Really. Yeah. Keep those last two are regressions. Well, they're yeah. Wix four is Wix under four. development. It has lots of bugs in it. So. Yeah, I mean... Does it, does it count yet? No, I mean, I wouldn't count anything as a regression yet. <laughs> it's not stable enough to be regressing. I like that. I want to talk about continuous integration testing. Well, sure, we could talk about continuous integration testing. Now that we have uh, the continuous integration working, we might actually be able to hook it all up. That'd be all right. We have it now in FireGiant to do a build machine to do that. Cool. So anyway, this... Yes, I could. I can see wanting to update it during modify. You actually, I remember you talking about this one. So yeah. Yes. Jacob, yes. Manufacturer, if, if manufacturers, manufacturers for the person that wanted to have a white boxed bundle or something is, I think, where it came up with. So. Well, the use case is you have um, you have a setting that you control in the BA, and you want it reflected in ARP. We already update ARP, or sorry. We update bundle registration during a modify, mm -hmm. but we don't update the visible, the visible, uh, the visible fields. Yeah. Yeah. You can change your display name today um, to put stuff in it or to localize it um, and stuff like that. Yes, if they wanted brand their bundle install time. We've well, seen it. Install we've, time we've, already works, right? Uh, sorry, install time and then modify it at install time. So yeah. we in particular we've seen this the, the first person that did this was the Windows installer SDK. They did something during install, but apparently they didn't do anything to modify because they would have complained way back when if we they didn't apparently didn't change whatever they did at modify time. If they did, they would have complained and we found this bug before feature or bug, whichever you want to look at it. It's one of those on the cusp. Well, you can do it during install and repair. Why not modify? Uh, <laughs> no good reason, because we didn't. So anyway. No, no, it, no, just, it, it never touches the uh, display name. Yeah. You just can't change it at modify time. So you can change it at install time and repair time. You can't change it at modify time, which is odd. If we're going to let you change it, it seems like something we should let you change and modify as well as install and repair. And I guess I'm kind of surprised we didn't do Wix bundle manufacturer, although it takes extra work, so we probably didn't do it at all. Right, right. And yeah, nobody's I, ever wanted it, I, it, and nobody's ever complained about that one, except that one that I thought there was someone in white boxing, and we just were like, eh, you could do that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm fair enough, Jacob. I wouldn't have done it either, but Bob's going to do it, I think. 
I'm in, I'm interested. Yes. Appropriately motivated. There we go. Allow BA to change bundle registration per machine. Currently, a bundle registration scope is determined at build time. Yes, it is. Yes. Whip to follow. Great. Let's open this in four. I don't think we're going to take this in three, because this is going to be a big change. I agree with that. So yeah, totally we'll take this in four. This guy was talking on Wish users, and I was like, can't do it today. MSI didn't let you do it until MSI 5, and they still don't do it right. So this could be um, challenging to get correct. But hey, if you're willing to try, I'm all for having a bundle that can switch per user per machine appropriately. Yeah. Uh, service control wait not working on Windows 8.1. I don't think we're involved in that. S query in command prompt shows the service is stopped but not uninstalled at the time of the error. Eventually service gets removed and I can continue my install. Well, that's your problem. Your service isn't going away fast enough. <laughs> so, yeah, this isn't our bug. Besides, doesn't wait just wait 30 seconds? I don't remember what it is, but yeah. Yeah, so their yeah, their service needs to stop faster. Typically, this means their service needs to stop faster. But if it doesn't, it's not anything that we do in Wix. If they want the Windows installer to wait longer, they can open a bug against Windows installer. Until we write our own service control mechanism, which I've always threatened right. to do because I'm not really thrilled with the Windows installer ones, but there are many other things to do instead. Yeah, actually, service install is the bigger. Problem. Service and service Sorry, control. It, it, you're going to need it's both control. actually. Yeah, yeah. you're going to need both. Anyway, cool. Well, that didn't take too long, all things considered. Bugs, 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 bugs. Cool. So let's before we do questions, comments, and I didn't put a slide in here. I probably should have. Um, having looked ahead at the bug, going hey. We need a 3.10.1, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, the So there, there's at least a few spots where 3.10 um, doesn't work on XP. And it's, it's, it's going to be crashing in custom actions. We have to fix it. Like, we, have to we, fix we have to fix it. it um, I can't I, believe I, that like, we could use V140 underscore XP and get stuff that crashes. That's just like, well, you know, support for XP, yeah. but it doesn't work all the time. Like, really? Yeah. That hurts a lot. Yeah, rather a lot. Um, so that and um, and and the, what did we call it? The standard BA bug. Yes, because uh, that's an well, that's a regression. Not regression. Well, it's, well, it's not a regression. It's it's a new feature new that feature. you can't control. Yes. Well, that which is and bad. Doesn't it break? And it breaks the old feature if you don't have a file in use. I mean. Well, yes. Although I'm less, I don't like that. I'm less concerned about that okay. than the fact that you're that all of those options, all those yes no options, are now dependent on each other. Yes. Right. And that's just that's just bad. Bad, bad. That is bad. Um, so yes, uh, uh, Jacob says it's trivial. I like trivial. Uh, so they're both trivial fixes that have a big deal. So we get them in this week. We get a build out end of week in a sure. day or two, something like that. Right, well, I'll volunteer for me. Okay, Jacob, if you get yours in in the next couple of days. Um. And then do a 310 build. All right, cool. So we'll we'll have those. Can you have them have all that done in the next day or two? The branches. I don't know what the branches names need, but okay. All right, cool. So in the next day or two, we'll have that. We'll get a build out. We'll keep it. What? Um, we'll update the build number. Have to do that too. Yep. Um, create a branch or can we just do this in develop maybe not nothing else has gone in so we can just do this against develop that'll make it a little easier yeah 
Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's skip the branch. All right. So then, because I mean, we'll put it back in master and we'll retag and it'll all be good. Um, right. So let's do that. Let's push these both and develop. We'll take these, do a build. Um, should we make it visible, or should we just send it to the people that need it? I guess Let's we don't have it first. Well, we don't need we have, it. We have two bugs, right? Yeah. This I mean, I I tested the uh, internet short the four nine zero two the internet shortcut case. Yeah. So I um why don't I I think we'll just put it up on the releases page though. I mean, there's no reason not to. Oh, oh, sorry. You, just to let the normal. Yeah, just look at a little formal flap. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have to that's give fine. them. Because I'm not too worried about other people getting it, since honestly it's probably going to be 3.10.1 as long as it works. Yeah, and then John can get to it, who's always great about just trying things out. So yeah, we'll just do the normal process for 3.10.1, and it'll have whatever build number it has on it. Um, oh, you don't want to make it 3.10.1? You want, sorry, do you want to change the third field? Yes. yes. Okay. So it'll still be 310 one. 20, whatever. Some big number, yeah. Okay. Some 2,000 cool. number, 4,000, 3,000, whatever. Yes. 3,10,1, and we'll put it up there. We'll send it out to those people, um, wait however long it takes for them to verify that it's good, and John to verify it's good, hopefully not more than a week or two, and then we'll declare another victory. Yep. Um, given everything, I vote Halloween. <laughs> Like, like just yeah, that works. Let's just do that. Let's let's just target this. Let's get all this done this week. Gail, give them three weeks to kind of push through it, and then we'll just do it all on Halloween and declare victory again at the end of next month. Yep. All right. Cool. Very cool. Now I know Heath wanted to talk about the continuous integration, which I think would be great, and adding more tests and getting the old tests. Working again would be great. We've had this conversation in the past. The old test being the big thing that needs work. Um, I've been adding, I was adding new tests as I added new code um, to things, um, but old stuff probably was not getting covered as well. So yeah, it would be great. Now we have also, we've with the new improvements to Visual Studio and such online and such like that, I think we may be able to get a build machine that builds builds more regularly from Lewis toolset so we can actually maybe get, although that won't run tests, so we really need to get the test infrastructure up and running better. That's really what it comes down to, is getting the test running, running better. So, yeah, no, it, it supports GitHub with testing. It does that. It just, the tests have to run. <laughs> and the problem Continue. with our tests is that a bunch of our tests our integration tests, the ones that are really interesting, that especially on the burn side, that do all kinds of crazy stuff. So it means you need a virtual machine because you definitely don't want to do that on the build machine itself. Um, so it's a matter of getting all of our tests running up and good and happy and well. Uh, yeah, you could do it with new virtual machines all the time. The continuous integration isn't terribly valuable without the tests. It's it's cool. Agreed. Because we're not we're build. not going to get the build problems right. So we need to get it's the test stuff that's going to be the most work. Yes, we have talked about it, but nobody's made any progress on V4 tests since we talked about it, Heath. So that's what we're. Someone needs to go back and do the work to dig all the tests out, get them running, up and going. CIs would help but interrupt. Should we allow new features? Make Didn't used to be that way. Well, the problem is that the tests have never worked. <laughs> the tests have never worked in Wix here. Because we don't have all the data files necessary to make them work. So they need to be updated and fixed to work. And you know, Jake was right. There's a patching bug that'll be hit. I mean, so yeah, it's just, we need to turn on the tests and then leave the ones that are broken as disabled until they will tell us which ones we need to fix next, and so on and so forth. It's just effort. Effort needs to be put forth to fix the tests. It's really what it comes down to. So that's it. Um, 
I'm I'm all for doing that. Yes, came a change with it. Right. Should new features be allowed? It wasn't before as long yet. Uh the tests have never worked in Wix. So I don't know that that's so we've never stopped feature work because the tests have never worked. Well, we all Q tested. We no, not here. We don't have all the data. Most yes. of the tests we don't have most of the tests that don't do that. You could write new tests for the new features. Yes, certainly could do that. I'm just saying we don't have a lot of the tests that worked. Yeah, so like a lot of the tests don't work because they don't have the data that's missing that was private to Microsoft. So that's what I'm saying. It just needs some elbow grease. I don't even know how much elbow grease it needs. It may not need tons. It may need a lot. I have not tracked it personally closely as I've been running around doing too many other things. So, And I feel like we're rehashing the same thing I said before. Yes, it needs to be done. It would be great. I'm not personally signing up for it right now because I have too many other things I'm doing. So let's turn on the test for burn, and then we'll fix the patch. The turn off the tests that are related to patching, and then we'll be good. We can do that. That'll then tell us which tests have to be fixed or which code has to be fixed first to enable tests. That's all good. Open a bug. There probably already is an open bug on that. And then tie the test to that. Say, when the test this test is fixed, turn on this test. Or sorry, when this code is fixed, when this bug is fixed, turn on this test code. That's the only way through is to open bugs against the tests that don't work. Fix the ones that you know, fix them, and the ones that can't work due to code, open bugs against them. Get, then we'll get the code fixed, then the test can turn on. It's a very simple process. It's just going to take work to do it. All right, cool. So, and hopefully somebody will do it so we can stop having this conversation. And one of days, yes, I will get to it, but I don't know when that's going to be right now. Well, some of the it, it might be interesting to look at the tests, the the you know actual unit tests rather than the integration tests and burn. Problem is, of course, the burn tests are more functional right now. Yeah, well, the burn t I don't know unit testing burn is going to be hard. I, or Sorry, I, I, I question the value of it in a lot of cases because just got so many moving parts. You're better off doing integration testing for it. Now, uh, we, I disagree on the plan. Planning, I think, could be unit tested pretty easily. Maybe, and I just don't trust it. And, and well, sorry. Yeah, what I'm okay. saying is, we need integration tests for burn. That I agree with. Yes. But integration tests are even harder to set up because of the whole need for a VM. And yes. Not wanting to muck with your own machine. Yeah. Um, whereas there are plenty of actual unit tests that we could probably prop up. It's just, a, and, and that would be easier to do that because they're actual unit tests, not uh, integration tests. Right, so I've started doing a number of Q-test-like things against the compiler and linker, or I started. So there are actually unit tests that do that. Now, I'm, you can argue whether we should still have some, still want some integration tests probably to make sure that the whole thing works end to end. Because unit tests don't test to make sure that the files get in the right places and all that kind of good stuff. But yes, I've started doing a bit more of the unit testing smaller areas. So anyway, there are unit tests for more in Wix 4 than there were in 3. Not that there shouldn't be more, but we're getting there on one front. So yeah, still just a matter of doing work, I think. All right. Cool. Anything else? Things going on. 3.10 and Halloween. Hey, look, we have another short-term deliverable to distract us from actually making progress on 4. Yeah. Ugh, but anyway, bad bugs. I'm still floored by this XP issue, but whatever. Static local variables. All right. I was not cool. a happy camper finding it out. No. But hey, I got to 
play around with remote debugging on, on XPVM. Yes. Well, I'm glad you found it, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, on that happy note, 310 is coming. If that's, the, I guess, the big takeaway from this meeting is that 310 is coming. Th sorry, 310 is coming. Uh, 310 is coming um, to a Halloween near, very near you, um, if all things go well. Um, and yeah, so the build should be out this week for those people that want to try it this week or early next week, depending on how things go. And then we'll move on from there. Cool, cool. I think that's it. All right, so until next weekend, all of you have a great time. Enjoy your weekend or whatever. I know we're talking about the weekend. It's been a long week thus far. And uh, yeah. we'll catch you on our way to uh, discussing how 310 is looking. Later.